right, the neighbors see. listening to the podcast right now. I'm going to get my blue headphones, but I don't, it's not a headphones. God damn it. I'll be I right. I thought that's what this was all about. Was it is. I mean, I, I've... I don't know that he should feel confident that he knows what the problem is. You know, like I think when you're at this level, the first step in problem solving is trying to understand first what you don't know. I think that's why when you call uh, customer service, like the old, the old days with, you know, trying to get things going uh, with your laptop or something, they'll go, have you tried powering down? <laughs> yes. You always start with like the most basic, yeah. like, yeah. wait, does this require, are you telling me this computer requires electricity of some sort? Mm-hmm. Like, like that's how base it is. And I, I guess <laughs> you should start with that. I mean, it's kind of our fault if you think about it. <laughs> you should you should really have like yeah. a whole like you know that that protocol checklist they do when they're in the icbm uh the the, uh, the silo and they uh-huh. turn the keys and then they go through the all right we're gonna we're gonna start with a page one here protocol mm-hmm. or a, a systems check let's uh power down and plug in headphones all right <laughs> We've I done just, no uh, training in all this time whatsoever. We've just yeah. let it fly willy-nilly since day one. I, I just started watching, I think, for probably the third or fourth time, uh, Chernobyl, uh, one of my favorite pieces of cinematic art. And that's the, you know, the guys going through the steps of when they fucking blew the thing yeah. up. It's like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, we didn't do anything wrong. Well, something happened, though. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be a headphone thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a fucking computer. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I haven't been able to talk for a few days. Because I'm still kind of desert surly after desert party. You guys ever get that? Dude, one? you put up some really great pictures, man. I'm still uh, seeing some of the first ones. I'm going to try. God damn it. Fucking shit balls. Describe what you're looking at. Nothing now. <laughs> uh, that I'm not it. launching no fucking meeting, cocksucker. Hey, no, fucking update, you fucking cunts. I want no updates, faggot. <laughs> Still on page one. Jesus Christ. It's, uh, what the fuck you? The headphones, hundred percent. Really? All right. God damn it! I don't now know the what... headphones are on, and he can't hear the. I can barely hear it through the fucking. I'm the fucking shit. What's this do? The volume turned down, maybe. Well, I don't have. It never goes up on this fucking thing. It's like. A fucking bionic ear is needed to sit and listen to this fucking thing. And I can't turn it up because it requires going into the fucking guts of it. How about a fucking volume knob, fucking button on the side of these fucking things for people who didn't just fucking get born and fucking understand this shit. Fucking make a bunch of everybody's a fucking asshole because you can't just make it easy. Or maybe I'm the asshole. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a real good thing I came home with laryngitis. <laughs> it's been like this for two days, but I haven't been able to express it. <laughs> oh, so you've just been bottling up for two days because your voice was uh, trash? Well, I got home to a, a voting debate. Uh, and, uh, Uh-oh. <laughs> and I, I was like, I, I can't talk. I mean, you know, I knew I was mad, I, what I wanted to say, but it was like, I'm not going to get a whiteboard. Go, <laughs> you know, the fucker, are you kidding me? You fucking kidding me? You can't see. So you couldn't even see if I wrote it on a whiteboard. So that would be a real fun. Okay, yeah. That would- what was your post? I think it was on Facebook about a happy Jehovah's. You ever met a right. happy Jehovah's Witness? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then Marty's response was, Andy's home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't uh, didn't take long. God damn it! <laughs> I, I can hear enough. It's okay because right now the the uh, landscapers are going by mowing the yard, so it's a little loud right now. Anyway, so you got another minute and a half. That's when I start you know. unraveling, it goes downhill quick. You've seen it. Yeah, we're where. There you go. 
Get some technology helper. Oh yeah, there's your IT support. <laughs> <laughs> When, I, all of a sudden it's, oh oh i was plugging in the wrong thing oh man oh, shit. this isn't my computer <laughs> <laughs> this is not my house this is not my life the fucking night so good to see you guys hey buddy <laughs> i'm just gonna good? lean in and i'm gonna it's fucking really annoying what if so i move can you can you hear us huh yeah i can hear you guys just i mean it's just Oh, now I got the, yeah. No, that's perfect. The way, the way you had it was terrible. This is way better, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of, uh, I went and got incense to burn instead of doing a computer check. <laughs> uh, I mean, time management is really, it's a finesse type of thing. Are you burning the incense? Yeah. I am burning it, yeah. Yeah, does okay. it smell nice? Here, what, it, what, uh, you, regular uh, nog chomps? This is probably the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> Turn this into an incense burner. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. You don't. You don't need to be a David Corey fan. It, Andy, just a little tweak on your uh, greatest thing you've ever done. Why wouldn't you put it like up more vertical so that all the ash drops down? It drops into this Todd Snyder tray. Oh, see, it's a two piece. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, one, building two, a better mousetrap four pieces the rube goldberg machine <laughs> well, i need to set the bowling ball over here so oh, that's yeah. fine. once all the ashes fall then the tray tips and the, the, weed, the, the, the weed on the, the tray garden. rolls down into a, a paper. those are the Ooh. kind of things that happen once i get a little wound up cords get tangled i forget things are plugged in and uh all it takes is a spark <laughs> <laughs> it's like the dry forest in northern california uh, that's yeah I, this is why i like uh, drive to the desert party so i have like a few days to just be a dick or whatever it's like you know i remember you saying that before it's like you're, you used to drive out and then drive home but you you'd take the long way or longer ways mm -hmm. to give you that kind of uh, drying out period before you got home because if you got home right away you'd be coming in so hot that uh yeah that's why they called it the logical song about taking the long way home i think or is that i think those are songs? two different super God damn songs, but anyway. band, though. <laughs> they're both great songs oh yeah fucking shout out to super tramp, super tramp. yeah can i have some uh capers for breakfast <laughs> yeah, mommy dear mommy dear uh all right so are we good to go I think so. I'm just going to be, uh, yeah, I'm just going to. Can you, it, it's loud enough for yep. you to hear us? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, I'm just, you know, not comfortable being uh, a, more of a mute. <laughs> be, if I just mean? had hearing losses would be what it's like. So I could. I don't think that's what being a mute means. Well, yeah, that's true. I could. Uh, no, I, again. It just, it take yeah. <laughs> I'm being, I don't mean <laughs> insult. I, I didn't mean that, insult faggots. Faggots to me is when I have cords tangled around my feet and I can't make something work. That's what a faggot is. It's a situation. But, but Andy, you're not, <laughs> you don't have a team of assistants like it's, setting you up. You're the one setting those cables on the ground that you're tangling your feet in. I know. Like, uh, well, it's like if a, you're, you know, you're all in ready to go and then you got to fucking adjust it. Like, you know. I got like a lot of cords out here and uh, that might be part of it. Burning stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, and I got a heater. This fucking to heater. Me, it out seems here. Andy like your area is your area. Why does it have to change after you're done broadcasting? Wouldn't you just take your laptop and go inside? Uh, and leave all the shit out here. Well, I mean, well, I was gone for a bit. So extension cords. I mean, yeah. Are, in this are case. you renting out the the patio while you're you're gone? Nobody can. That we have the old glass door, and and uh, nobody else but me can has the strength to shove it open. Perfect. I know, but <laughs> weather. That's it. Is weather because the weather comes whipping in here. All so really the weather is what's causing the shit. issues. Yeah. Well, so what we should do is we should do a, we should set the link up. I mean, it was, this was a rush job. Shaylee just got back from doing stuff. We all just got back from doing stuff. So, you know, we get the link out early. You can check it, you know, you can jump on, you can see if it Well, works. I'm going to get, I think I just, I mean, I have, I get mad when this happens and I go, I'm going to get a goddamn fucking speaker 
and have ready to go in case this happens. And then I forget. What happened with but that? Also, why doesn't your laptop just have a speaker? You should, right? I mean, it does. It does. It's, it's quiet as fuck. That's, I mean, this is top volume on it, at least as far as I can. You understand we can't out. hear what you're hearing. Right? <laughs> right. But I mean, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it doesn't work very well. It doesn't go very loud. I mean, you guys are hearing me on about a six and I got you on about a two. All right. Well, that's there you game. go. Whatever that Can't argue with that. I'll, I'll lean right in and talk to you right here. Yeah, How's this? Is that hey, good? man, where were you at the party? <laughs> yeah. Have been there, man. Dude, I was there. You didn't even see me, dude. You were. You guys were both there in spirit. There was a guy. I don't know if Shaley's had a chance to tell you about any of it. None. Okay. So one night, one of the staff, we had a, you know, we know the staff there. They hang out. Uh -huh. And uh, I was I was busy helping some people uh, at a, on a, well, anyway, I was down in the miners cabin holding so i wasn't down there uh when this started but one of the staff guys was there <clears throat> and he was getting a little rowdy mm -hmm. you know uh, yeah. not a little a little rowdy and then not a little well boobs was playing this guy wow. start starts in on this sock or no he's saying you guys aren't funny is this supposed to be funny hold on andy right yeah greg you yeah that's why this by saying i wasn't there <laughs> that's why it's now good you're when telling I hear. Me how it, the genesis of this whole thing happened yeah yes that's yeah okay so what happened was a couple of people from uh the the, the facility we were at um were up there reed you remember reed of course uh, yes yeah De deirdre wasn't there she was on a vacation uh, yeah, i heard about she's on a cruise yeah so sexy reed, cruise i hope <laughs> if reed she's on it we came up with some friends from the thing and it was great. You know, we, we got to know everyone there, all new crew, you know, except for reading Deer, Deirdre as far as I can tell. And this guy just was too drunk to, to he was too drunk to enter the campsite to begin with. Uh -huh. But we're very open. We've got people like that all the time. Yeah. You know? You're still going to be allowed to enter. It's just, you're probably going to fuck up. Annie, Annie Letterman said something that he took, uh, he he objected to what she had said, and yeah. he he just could what the fuck. But they started getting like, uh, like angry, and like uh, boisterous about it. The whole time, boobs and I are playing songs campside. This guy is punctuating with like explicatives, at to the point where. Tarek just got up and walked. He was playing drums. He got he goes, fuck this guy, man. And I'm like four mushroom pills in. I'm happy. I, I'm just like, ah, <laughs> and so I, then I just I get up and I walk and he's like, fuck <sighs> you. He's, he's really it's it is a turd of the punch. He's begging for it. Oh my God. And I walk up and I got my bass on. And I, I just, he's sitting right next to boobs and he's like goofing on everything that's happening and say, you're not funny and all that. It's like, what the fuck, dude? And, and, he, and in a kind of an, well, almost everything he said, like he said, it was punctuated with kind of a weird aggressive move, yes, like good. arms flailing, yes. shit like that. So he would have gone uh, over the bushes and into the next site if Chad was there. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that. It seems like weirdly, yes. you know, the universe worked out that someone didn't get murdered that weekend. And so you got a chance to apologize for it the next day. I lean into this guy, like, <laughs> still playing, right? It's like, hey, buddy, just uh, take it down a notch. She's a comedian. She said something funny. Oh, yeah. So like what I think is funny isn't funny or like the way I respond. And I'm like, hey, yes. just bring it down a notch. There's not a, there's no reason to be acting. And I'm happy. And I look over to Reed. I go, Reed, your friend needs to just settle down a little bit because <laughs> this is not the way that this needs to go down. And he's like, yeah, yeah, he's really drunk. I go, yes, he is. And the guy goes, <laughs> this is when Chad would have just fucking slugged him. He, puts me <laughs> yeah. and goes, he goes, get out of here. Sitting down at our bench in our site. <laughs> he's drinking, our <laughs> he's drinking our booze. Drinking our booze. And he goes, get out of here. Get, <sighs> just get. And I look to Reed and I go, now your friend is being disrespectful. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to, to either control it right now or just leave. 
And then I, I just had to turn and walk away at that point because he was really to the point. I mean, I'm standing over him. He's sitting down. I could have just pushed him and just cleared that table with him. But he he was just ugh. he 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 was like falling into boobs. Yes. Uh, this was one of I'll the funniest one of the funniest things uh, of the weekend. I mean, there's tons of them. I, I, I laugh so much. But Sandro says to him, do you want a mushroom? And they say, hey, <laughs> big mushroom. And then that guy, I mean, that was the funniest thing. It's like, oh, man, you, only, you, you can't imagine the demons that that guy's probably got in his head. Uh, but uh, he said, no, I'm not a mushroom guy. Yeah, should yeah. uh, be uh, now. You can tell. Now I kind of wish that I would have went because yeah. all I could. How funny would have been to just grab a guy and just drag him out into the desert. Don't even say a word. Just drag a guy <laughs> kicking and screaming out into just as far as I could go until nobody could hear him anymore. Just, I, I just keep dragging him you'd, out. You'd into have the to go far. Desert. Yeah. You'd have to go far. Yeah, it was really weird. Him once and knock him out and leave him there and come back. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he did have a cool exit. Right. Uh, when it finally, when he finally got, at, tell him what happened when he left, Greg. They got in that that uh, razor, that that four wheeler. I don't know who was driving. I didn't want to. Have I think to yeah. Questions if the cops showed up because no one should have been driving. But we did have. I don't know what happened, Andy. But but we but at the end of it, there were still two or three people there from Panamint. Uh, the resort that saw everything went down and I was just like you know what this guy just had too much to drink he he must have been blackout drunk by the time he walked into camp mm -hmm. so I mean, yeah. all that as well we got he, him out of there. I mean minus minus shank there like I mean why I think several of us go well this guy looks pretty easy to take <laughs> yeah. but, but he couldn't just, stand up to begin with that's why he was sitting at the bench right he told me to leave my camp it was like my when, my when I was my daughter was little and uh, she had had an excitable afternoon and she was pretty <laughs> tired and she wouldn't admit she was tired and wouldn't stop bothering me. So I'd make her cry and then she'd fall asleep and wake up like no problem. That's what that guy needed. He just needed to be put down, uh, cry himself to sleep. And I think Chad would have been pretty good at listening to <laughs> that warm flow of tears. I don't know if crying because of pain is the same as uh crying because you're tired and it was a, well if he was the, a little guy then maybe i would have just walked him into the desert and just hugged him real hard and yeah, just, uh, went to sleep. i don't know where he got <laughs> he misunderstood something completely somebody said but he goes you don't like jews and that was like he was tackling us for not liking jews and like i don't i don't mind him like, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why i referred to the, in that picture with annie as the first or at the death valley comedy festival because uh -huh. this guy was up in our faces uh saying you're not funny is it yeah. it hurt it still hurt even though we weren't uh, performing or anything it's not even a comedy festival and yet we have a heckler yeah it was like well th that was our first vip package <laughs> uh, yeah. i think last year with uh, uh chris crystal or christine or whoever that girl was oh yeah we talked about her that was uh that was the first vip every year there's a vip that comes into camp yeah and yeah the, we like, have the full issues with andy experience never meet your heroes <laughs> <laughs> and our heroes are our fans yeah he uh and the next day i i witnessed him at the restaurant working later in the day and he's yeah. like a nice enough guy seemed to uh, seemed to be kind of liberal in his his uh, speak and uh, 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 sang along with some decent music. It's like maybe you know, uh, yeah. It's like everybody's out at Panamint. I mean, if you're at a place that's in the middle of Death Valley, just you know, barely got internet, only some parts of the camp, and only at certain times of the day, and it's just you're just you're truly off the grid out there. Then, yeah. I mean, our, our favorite something going on in there our, our favorite waitress has an update uh, i won't say her name but remember our favorite waitress the one who would serve with a, a, a her top zipped up and then as she would come later in the afternoon her top would be all the way unzipped yeah, the, the older gal yeah, yeah yeah she uh well when they had a sh slowdown because of the road closures and all and uh and there wasn't a lot of stray dick bouncing through there so <laughs> she took up with a guy old man who lived in darwin and then i and he since died and then she's gone a wall ish 
Oh, really? Uh, but I said, do you think she, she killed him? Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, the, the guy, uh, I won't name names, and he said, I don't think so. That's not in her nature. And I said, so she just fucked him to death. And he goes, yeah, that's probably what happened. So he, he went out happy then, if that's the case. That's, yeah, that's not. That's like being a fucking cool hospice it, right yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. You live yeah. out in Darwin in complete isolation. Like, and then you're about, you're an old man about to die. And then some well, yeah. fucking kitty Russian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. I'll yeah, take that yeah. ramp when offered. Yeah. I was I was thinking of ordering one my, myself. <laughs> <laughs> I I almost fucked myself to death out there. Uh, but <laughs> hey, I can't. I proved to myself I can hold. I can be yeah, a I responsible heard, holder. <laughs> I heard about that. I heard you were very gracious. Uh huh. I heard a. The, yeah. I, I won't name any names or any. I said, <laughs> and this was honest. This I was being honest. I it was. I just got in there, or maybe. Yeah, it was the first night, and I I was holding uh, uh, something down in the miners' cabin, which is about uh, I don't know two hundred about a hundred yards, two hundred yards yeah. away from yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I I stood. I ate at McDonald's, uh, and. Anyway, I said, I, I'm not going down to do drugs, but I am going to go down and take a, something that feels like a really greasy shit. And, uh, and since I've had chemotherapy or whatever, my systems got reconfigured. I shit, it smells sometimes like, uh, uh, like, you know, a fucking landfill area. <laughs> like a landfill area that hits you in the face all at once. <laughs> And that's the best way to describe it. I know it's fucking awful. I didn't, I didn't, you know, they didn't say when they were going to just say, we'll take your gallbladder out. Oh, that's cool. They didn't say now you're going to have to sit in some unfucking godly stink for the rest of your life. Uh, I would have debated it. If that's what happened. And then there was a line of people that followed me like it was field of dreams. I got in that toilet and started blasting out this foul shit. And I got up and I, and I saw a line of people coming up the, the walkway. And, uh, and there's no way really to get rid of it. You know, uh, I did close the door. They dug it the, the cocaine train. Yeah, I'm so yeah. Yeah. Anyone who might have put their head down got a whiff of a couple of dangerous uh, inhalants at once in there but it was we had a possible fentanyl uh well that's why i tried it in la <laughs> <laughs> I, I did a safety safety bomb yeah, yeah. You. not happy about any of that it, yeah anyway <sighs> uh, so it was a, it, it was fun uh to hold <laughs> good for you i'm proud mr. of you mr boobs uh, will brag when he has a chance to talk to chad that the uh i i, I had him taken care of uh, gavin's a hoot uh, fucking uh, gavin do you know gavin no holy shit uh so we got there was some other source of the same or you know what well, shaley already said cocaine train okay saying yeah that there was some from bisbee <laughs> oh yeah region that was region or terrible. you know tusk anyway uh gavin being all fucking drunk and shit said he would go ahead and sample it and we had the uh, narcon is that what you call it Narcan. 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 I picked up in, in uh, Pahrump, by the way, and they, it was free. Yeah, that's and what. Very, very empathetic uh, 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 pharmacist uh, walked <laughs> me through everything. And I'm, I'm, he's thinking I've got like some rambunctious uh, teenage uh -huh. or, or stepdaughter. And I'm thinking, boy, if you only knew where this was going. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's he like did. yeah, just stick it in their nose and push. Did you tell him it was basically like cocoon with cocaine? <laughs> I didn't tell him nothing. I let him fill in all the blanks. Cocaine? <laughs> cocaine. Would it be cocoon? Would it just be cocaine? <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> that was the Wilford Brimley. Uh, but so he, he knew he knew what was going, you know, the uh, thing where like, I, we, because me and me and boobs were both, you know, professionals or whatever. We sampled it and it goes, it tastes like laundry soap. So we got hey, Gavin hey. and Gavin gave it a war. He, he, he was, I told him he was, well, we, I deputized him after that. I was like, that's fucking stepping in front of it for somebody. He's like, took a big rail of suspect cocaine 
and uh and we said and it was such we just had it was so fun uh leading up to that that was one of those i got into a couple of Gavin, uh, Andy? what's that where's gavin mcleod you asked me if I knew Gavin, and I said no, oh, and then you started oh, telling about what no, happened. I, I, Are you trying Shaley to get Randolph's his, name? Shaley knows his or isn't he from Alaska? No, Randolph. He's, he's Oh, the, fucking Rand. Why do you call him Gavin? I don't know. Oh, Randolph. Oh, Randolph. Yeah. Randolph, yeah, Randolph yeah, man. Schultz. Randolph. Okay. <laughs> Randolph. I probably called him Gavin the whole we time. Peep out his last. I shouldn't have said his last name. Oh, man, that I'm Randolph is hilarious. And uh, yeah. and uh, me and boobs. With him getting ready to do the bump that uh, might kill him, <laughs> it was—it's probably one of the funnest, biggest la it's... laugh fest I've had in, in my life. <laughs> and it turned out it was just not very good. Yeah, that's usually and it was so not happen. very good. I took a bunch. You gotta of be it. careful with L.A. though. You gotta be careful with L.A. cocaine. Well, it's okay. I know a globe trotter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's retired. <clears throat> So uh, one other incident that happened that has never happened out there was uh, that night after uh, the incident with the kid at the, uh, at the, at the picnic bench, uh, things kept you know, progressing. You know, like, they, like, like we're off, there's our, our cabin. It's out in the middle of nowhere, it's, it would seem. Uh, we're usually out there when there's no one there. Um, not the case this time around. Uh -huh. As many people in the campsite as there were in our group, really? so we had a lot of neighbors. But we don't know how to we don't know how to act around neighbors because we don't usually have them there. Yeah, we're not there to act around neighbors. That turned into an issue because <laughs> yeah, someone complained about us, right? Someone, well, you guys, <clears throat> yeah, not you, us. The uh, the 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 issue was <clears throat> two in the morning. They could hear the donkeys fighting at one end of the uh, property so a bunch of people took off and these were wild donkeys not wild donkeys, donkeys you guys brought for the party oh, we no, no. A wild donkey fight the kind of donkeys that you you know they show up <laughs> they live around there so everyone got to everyone who was up got you know got their flashlights their headlamps and they walked down it's like two in the morning 1 30 in the morning uh, I was just zonked. I, I go to I go to lay down in the cabin, which is right there where where the uh, fire was and where the speaker was, and we were all hanging out, caterwauling earlier. And everyone in this big group starts walking down to the far end, and apparently someone from one of the campsites came up into our camp and saw that there was no one there, and stole not only the speaker, and this is a this was a, a personal monitor. Uh, they took uh -huh. that and they took uh, Amber's uh, iPhone and just split with it. So that's incredibly. I don't think I don't think terrible. They should have. Uh, we should have had the radio playing Spotify playing at two in the morning with nobody in camp. That oh, you left it playing. Someone did. Whoever was left. Whoever left. We I was asleep, so I didn't see. Oh it. yeah. At three yes. in the morning. Yeah, that 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 probably and you know what whatever That's, I didn't I heard this story but I didn't hear that part of the story. I I had assumed that that was why that was the motivation for taking it when I heard yeah. that story. It should have I mean, should have just smashed it or just throw it on the roof. You know, message received, guys. We got it. You know, but we'd never ever had the only time we'd ever had any issue with uh, noise was remember I don't it was the first year we were there. Uh, years ago and um, with the Stanhope uh, original party and we had rented out the entire place which this this cabin here wasn't even built back then right and we were up in the main house area and it was like two or three in the morning and some Japanese tourists had come through and asked if they could stay the night and the person in the uh, office said look these guys are here they've got the whole place if you don't mind they might be a little loud and they go yeah no problem and at three in the morning they had had enough and <laughs> went and lit fucking those fucking fireworks that goes yes. right up in the air. So at three in the morning, everyone's tripping balls <laughs> and then fireworks start erupting like it's, uh, you know, Disneyland at 10 p.m. at night. And and we're fucking we love it. I mean, yeah, it was fucking crazy. but they they did that and then just split. And that is the only other time we've ever had. It. And that was handled, I think, better 
than uh, basically theft from the, the web. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm almost glad. Hold on, hold I'm, on, wait, oh, wait, 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 Andy. <laughs> you no. He can't. Eat <laughs> right. Well, maybe Andy, can you hear us? Not if you can hear us. Okay, we can't hear you. Is there anyone at home? Uh, come on. Why did he try to switch something? I hear your feelings. Uh, God damn it! I thought I had it all. I can hear you. I, yeah, I know. If I plug in, I can't hear. I, you can either hear or talk. <laughs> can't do both this way. All right. So uh, I would love to actually drill down and figure out what this problem is at some point. Not now, but yeah, I, yeah, I, no, I am no. very interested in what it is that could be causing yeah. such a, a strange array of problems. It's, it's just fucking, you know, it's just one of them you know acts of god or whatever <laughs> i guess that's one way of yeah uh i forgot my thing or whatever did you have something to add to that andy about the uh, well okay the donkeys were the last night the night the spear got stolen was the night earlier but greg and a group of them were we got we went down to the road that's how i remember it was the it was the night we did the road march uh -huh. oh that's right back yeah. and then when we came back yeah. all that so it was missing for a day or two which was even but you, you know the person was still we got a complaint the next night because we continued making noise you know it's uh -huh. like i got your phone and your speaker that'll stop you <clears throat> make noise anyway i mean not in a, a malicious disturb the campground way in a way that we own it and you should shut the fuck up if you have a complaint because usually chad's around here <laughs> <laughs> you don't want us to get chad up do you uh mm -hmm. but it was a bunch of uh like uh, guys with trailers riding uh, motorcycles through the desert, and, and it had to be one of them. It was up. So, there. were they riding motorcycles, or were they pulling their motorcycles on trailers? Uh, well, no, it was a rally type thing. Yeah, rally on Saturday. Like antique bikes and shit too. So, I'm sure they. So the bikes them. were on trailers, and they were driving the bikes to. No, not to necessarily. Them. Some of them were, but but other ones were uh, were riding through, and they were camping. But they were they were way down the other end. I think this was yeah. Close. They were. I mean, there was nobody camp the first night. There was somebody camp near us. The next night there was. I mean, they were quite a ways it's, away from us. They just didn't like you know. A, you know, I will say this. I think that it is. Uh, it's unfortunate that Chad wasn't there because, you know, he doesn't go on the road walks, and maybe that would have you know stopped this. The dude would have regretted it, but also. If I may uh, say this, I think if I would have been there, I would have been like, wait, we can't leave the music on. Exactly. And camp when we leave. Exactly. So it's your fault, Erickson. It is my fault. Mm -hmm. I apologize. I we, we had a system. Yeah. 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 It's like I mean, when you put a car together, on it's when like one there, because that's even more annoying. Because yes. if you're listening to the party and you hear there's music and you hear people talking, you're like, well, they're partying. And then you hear the party walk past your tent. Yeah. out into the road and off into the distance but yet they left the music on yeah oh, fucker. are you fucking kidding me <laughs> they, you know, move. fuckers stick move yeah we could we yes. could have they could have uh they could have taken it and turned it off and they could have uh, 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 but they or grabbed it dropped it off at the uh, office the next day or whatever uh, they, they could have taken the power cable and that would have solved everything yeah mm -hmm. the power it cable, yeah so yeah, it, it was definitely a dick move, though. Whoever did it, even though even though we left that shit running, it was a dick move to take somebody's phone Absolutely. and disappear. Well, that's yeah. always that. Well, that's not even just more than a dick move. It's that. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know. I pretty but much just. I mean, speaker, I the speaker was. Uh, you know, that's like one hundred and seventy nine bucks. The new iPhone that Amber had was the new iPhone fourteen. Oh Jesus! So I mean, we're Does she we're have up, insurance? No, oh my upwards god! Upwards of a thousand dollars right there. That's Ugh. enough to call the cops. But you know, no cops. We don't want no cops. No cops, man. Well, that's what we should have done. But and yeah. it was more than likely whoever complained about it. You know, uh, but, maybe I mean, could have been. I, I mean, we, everyone searched everywhere to so like. Mm -hmm. Were they were they going to be cheeky about it and stick it in a tree? maybe or you know on a noose like quite yeah. I get like it. mike pence it clever yeah but um yeah they, just, wow. they, they took it with them and you know part of that erickson is is to what you said earlier was uh like if you were there when we've got veterans of people that have been out there 
to the to Panamint in years past, they would have that sensibility to go, oh, oh hey, grab your phone or, or turn turn that turn that off at least. Whereas yeah. we didn't have that. We had a lot of people that you know hadn't been out there before or hadn't been out there like, to the extent that they know, you know, yeah. the right way to do it, I guess. So yeah, and Shaley, when you go to bed, you go to bed. Like oh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised, like, you know, if you would have noticed that oh, everyone left and the music's still on, you probably would have gotten up and turned. I would have gotten up and done something, but when yeah. I fell asleep, I mean I I was uh, definitely taking a bunch of mushrooms over the weekend and relaxing, <laughs> taking my fucking, yeah. taking my, my oh, yeah. line and I didn't bring a computer. I, I mean, no. it was fucking great to lay down and go to sleep. And even if the cocaine train ended up in my room, I was fucking, <laughs> they were like, how does he sleep during this? And they're and Tracy or, or Mitchell would be like, oh, he's fine. Don't, yeah. yeah. No, don't try and whisper. That will wake him up. He'll think he's answering a trivia question. Just uh, keep talking loud. Do you, do you remember us being in the uh, me? I think it was me, Boobs, and Randolph looking for the speaker that night. Oh, yeah. We came in there quietly. We're in there about five minutes, you know, shining the light uh, subtly and looking for the speaker and uh, thinking that they, that exactly what Greg said, that he would have come out, turned it down, or, uh, or uh, something. I, I love the, the Andy's solution to tr where do we look? Let's look under Shaley's feet. Shaley's sleeping. He's probably got it. Why the fuck would you look in my room? Well, that's what we'd hoped. And I mean, we're like, hopefully that's what happened is, you know, Greg came out and took that shit in because it was uh -huh. to keep us quiet. And you've looked everywhere else, so you might as well look in the... Yeah, we looked room. around, you know, so it was, it was a bummer, man. <laughs> Not only did they kill the tunes, they ripped off fucking Amber, and that's just... That's yeah, bad cool, karma. Man. I feel bad for that person who did it because they're going to get fucking taken down hard by some sort of fucking accident. Police. Mm -hmm. I do remember grabbing uh, a couple of guitars before I went to bed thinking, you know what? I, I don't want someone falling into those. Let's just pull them, put them away. But <laughs> there's still people hanging out. So, yeah, yeah it's unfortunate. So, it sounds like it was a really a fun time. Yeah, I went on the, I did it like a, last year, I remember when Jenny laughed uncontrollably for 15 yeah. minutes. I did that to myself. I mean, myself, I was doing that. So that, I usually get a few laughs when I'm on the shrooms or whatever, but this time I just fully let myself entertain myself. And man, am I funny as I could not stop <laughs> laughing. And it was just all me going, okay, stop doing this to myself, man. You know, you know you're going to kill yourself. <laughs> You deserve that though, man. For yeah. You, the things you've been through for the yeah. last 12 months, like it's been a ride, man. So that was the night. That was the night of the spectacular sunset. Mm -hmm. And then uh, later, uh, the laughing jag. And then, you know, uh, I, re I, I decided, all right, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, after that sunset, I'm going to see the sun rise. And, and that's, uh, uh, and that's Sandro. Me and Sandra on, sat on there waiting. Left and, uh, you know the hippie guy over there with the long hair. In case yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But okay. So that that morning, me and Sandra were standing there at the uh, at our main main spot and waiting for the sunrise and having a great conversation. That that Amber after losing her phone or you know how uh, when you lose something it can really ruin somebody's time or whatever. Yeah. It didn't bother her. I mean, it didn't right. shake She's her, and I love that about her. But also this morning, that morning waiting for the sun to come up she came up and gave me a, a hug from behind uh which i haven't been touched in so long it startled me uh but she said you know told me her story about having brain cancer five years ago oh, wow. and it was like uh you know i went for that evening had the, the fucking 15 minute i can't stop myself from uncontrollable good times and uh sandro uh, uh there and then uh and then she told me that and it just it allowed me to just like fucking cry like a baby so it was like both both things I needed uh, uh, all that uh, and then I walked down to the miners cabin and uh, and watched the, the sun finish up its show and uh -huh. uh, and then tried to blow all that desert air out of my nose before you go to sleep very important <laughs> out in the desert I got a lot yeah. of desert air up in there and it affected my ability to snort the cocaine <laughs> uh, the kettle ke uh, ketamine that was a little of that around i had a nice pratt fall the first uh i think it was the first night i got there i was walking around 
I was walking to the miner's cabin going, man, I should really have a flashlight when I kicked into a rock and fell on my chest on the spot where I had the, the oh, no. uh, surgery. Oh, if I would have had that poured in, it would have got jammed in a medical situation. <laughs> but it, it, it still hurts. It, it took a few days before it really fucking uh, I got home and it hurt a lot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's how I started it off. Like blindly falling, catching myself with my hands and, and hitting the, uh, the, the wound I'm still supposed to be, uh, I, in fact, I, I hadn't removed the, the, the wrap from it yet or the, uh, stitches covers. So it held. Yeah. We didn't get a, uh, we didn't get a, uh, lift the shirt and show us the belly, Andy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I, no, huh. I, yeah, I'm over guys, it, I guess. Uh, guys, not... guys, guys, what, what went on out there? I mean, you did this whole speaker, you did the speaker on when you go to, out on the road. You don't look at Andy's fucking scars yeah. from the bottom of his neck. It wasn't well, the... a proper party. I guess the not. There. Was, uh... I, we should have well, been there, there was... honestly, there... Dad, yeah. we well, We'll invite you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to come. Yeah, check your emails. It's probably just got <laughs> sent over to the trash. Send me a new also... link. Uh, maybe I didn't get the link this time. Right. I'll I'll tell you one thing right now. I know I would have been miserable there uh, because I was miserable here. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you Fucking... broke your leg almost. Well, I'm still ankle, right. I, I'm still waiting to see. The VA hasn't Jesus made an appointment Christ. yet. That's Man. normal, right? Is it all? Is it all uh, blue and shit yet? Or yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I understood. I understand why both of you guys are, you know, Chad rolled up his ankle and fucked it up and and Brett's working for a, a fucking ridiculous fucking stooge named Elon <laughs> Musk, who's, hey, man, hey, tell him. Take it easy oh, now. Right, oh, right. Guys, uh, forward thinking, uh, uh, progressive and uh, the future of humankind. That's true. Uh, I mean, well, you know. And Two of us get our internet from that guy, and one of us works for that guy. That's a... <laughs> we'll all yeah, be working. It's funny if, if both of you and Shaley's internet started to sketch out. Yeah. Then went went away, and then all of a sudden my phone rings and I get fired. <laughs> Actually, <there's, laughs> it's just Andy <laughs> trying to figure out his speakers. I'm sure. I'm sure Elon isn't the type to just lay off a large amount of workforce. No. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that. Look, it's pretty clear that Twitter had a large number of fucking do nothings. Float. Just yeah, I mean, look, that you know, if the fact that he could fire three thousand people from Twitter or whatever it was, it is proof that they had three thousand people too many. They don't need how many people do you need to run a website? That's true. It does well, seem a little. More. It's a website. Come they're on. In there playing hacky sack and shit. Yes. Man. They they're didn't not need them fucking the doing hacky that. Sackers, but there's a lot going on under the hood that needs daily maintenance. And there's yep. well, that's why that he takes... started hiring some back. Yeah. It oh, takes... Those yes. are the ones he needed. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. It takes 15 people. <laughs> 15 really smart people could run Twitter. That's all you'd need a staff of 15 people. Maybe some so, more for the moderation of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, they got to get all the people that are uh, impersonating him. Yeah, you're gonna have that's yeah. the that's oh, what's man. gonna take the most. Yeah, there's more than that. Yeah, that's, that was I. That that's was like look. I had to ask what happened while I was you know while I was in the desert and Provenza was explain that to me. I was like, oh, that that to me was pretty funny. I I kept loading that and enjoying it in the airport. Uh, Andy Andy stayed at Provenza's on the way home from uh, Panamint. So. That's right. Yeah. And I saw the movie when uh, uh, that Paul Provenza started working on ten years ago about my getting it's almost done. And Annie came over, or Annie and Todd watched it. Uh, 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 we watched about over an hour of it with with Paul. Yeah, I heard. Uh... I heard some stuff about that from Carrie Mitchell, who heard about it from Annie. Sorry. And uh, Annie thinks it's fantastic. And all it needs is a uh, current little, uh, you know, what's Andy doing now sort of update. Right. So done. that's what I, we, uh, maybe she didn't, wasn't there when we talked about this, but I told Paul that me and Annie said, like we did, we did, uh, 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 I did her new podcast or oh, a, nice. uh, a segment or whatever. Uh, and, uh, but I thought that would be great to update my story for, I mean, for Paul's purposes for the story. Well, he's got purposes. to now. Yeah. And then that would be a great way to do it. So then I, we thought, well, he's doing these shows in, in, uh, LA and his back, 
yard space, but uh, that could we could do a, each do 15 minutes of comedy and then do like a green room interview and then use mm-hmm. that for the ending of the movie. Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good Start idea. streaming that shit on people or streaming it out on, uh, but uh, yeah, so it sounds like she, yeah. I uh, literally and, would support any idea for ending the movie and completing mm-hmm. it, no matter yeah, what. It, no it's matter what Paul's vision was for the end of the movie, I would say yes, do it, please, immediately. Yeah, so so that's uh, it's actually you know it it was it's different good than I, a, it was different than I had seen God. it before. The form he had it in was much different. This this movie, you know, it's like okay, somebody gave him the right notes, mm-hmm. and uh, shit got uh, got uh, uh, you know, he still got some dicking to do with the first. Uh, section but uh, uh i think it's a uh, you know i mean it's, it's the fact that annie said it's good you know she was come i i wasn't i can't watch you know my own self closely but i was you know hearing them respond to stuff and watching her during the, the nervous parts uh, <laughs> and uh you know ha- having yeah. uh, had uh, similar and and uh, worse or just as horrific experiences she uh you know is, is uh yeah. somebody who I really wanted to hear uh, what she thought about it. We should, uh, that's interesting. She should be a producer. We should get her on board as a producer. Yeah. Uh, she asked me, I, 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 I know. She, I, I it? Such, what? Because it sounded like it just needs that little last bit. Well, I did. Yeah, we had a producer who was pushing for that to be done well, because she was a that, that is true. Well, she already did. She do. already watched and said, Hey, get some uh, new parts, and now uh, she's. But if we do give that. her a title, there she is, producer credit right there. If, if, if we give her a title, she'll she'll really fucking you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh yeah, so so uh, I'm I felt felt like okay, fucking That's great. Uh, you know, I checked in on it, and I uh, I couldn't. I I'm happy for Paul because it's like, you know, if it's still a jumbled uh, or you know, it's still long it's just too much you know i'm a weirdo and there's a lot of shit that bad shit that happened and you can't pile it into one story right uh i guess yeah it should be a whole series it should be about, people would see oh, it on know. netflix if it, or if they told this whole story and they'd be like eh, i think his life story should have been two uh, two to three episodes and it went six i was just gonna suggest that it should be 190 episodes <laughs> there you go uh i take issue with that sir <laughs> <laughs> having not learned a thing about my computer and how it works and uh, <laughs> i am gonna investigate this shit i'm gonna get I'm, maybe i'll go to the geek squad just make it their problem uh, yeah man, i saw I a thing best buy has a thing where you could they uh, have a monthly payment on a uh computer that you can do i, I mean it's uh, i think the computer's uh, fine it's just i was like, like fucking best buy look at you uh, making deals with poor people I, it, like you know it's like <laughs> anything i'd get a new one and then it'd have all kinds of other fucking problems yeah yeah you just need someone to sit down just need a speaker I, you I know james inman understands how computers work you should hit him up and see if he wants to come out come on out yeah Show you how all this shit goes. His apart. voice is still ricocheting off the fucking desert. Uh, fucking, <laughs> I could still hear him. <laughs> hey, Erickson, uh, just an update. Um, the internet was pretty good out there. Yeah. We, uh, mm-hmm. got the uh, Starlink out there. Oh, nice. And yeah, we, I could. You, you could sit out at the, basically at the restaurant and at the. Uh, gas station which makes sense because uh, you need people to gravitate there anyway but right. elon musk save the day again elon yeah. did it again thanks buddy even while he's still he's out there fixing twitter and he's also saving the party although i will say i still only got one or two you know sort of cryptic short texts from my lovely lady friend who used it as the excuse of well i'm out here at panamint so i can't possibly contact you in any way i should just mm. i'm partying to be i should say anything about there being a new star was the cool, the cool know, thing is i really got a chance to sp- get to know mitchell this time around <laughs> you know <laughs> mitchell was on fire yeah, on yeah. Fire. when i'm not around she lets loose 
<laughs> I'll you, say. You, you must you must really keep her down because without you around, she cut loose like crazy. She couldn't oh. talk when I picked her up at the airport. She had no voice. I, I yeah, Jesus, me neither. I'm trying to imagine a, a, a Mitchell letting her hair down. She, we were we were all sitting around the fire <laughs> and noticing. I mean, I was just zoning yeah. out, tripping, having a good time, and then just 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 the loudest explanations of everything really like that the, the 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 loud laugh and the 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 the, the movements of the hands and everything i'm going wow mitchell is the campfire of that group <laughs> yeah we're staring at our campfire going wow and then she's in the middle of this group in the dark but like just lit it up and it's it's nice. just i don't even know what she was talking about but man it Jeez. was a yeah, she told that. me that she found out the next day she was sitting on the ground in the yes. center of a group of people, like and that campfire. was it. She was their she was their campfire. Also, she just spent like two hundred bucks on these, um, you know, really nice uh, hiking like running shoe combo oh. things, and uh, she fucked them up. And she couldn't figure it out, and then the next night she realized when she did it again that she was so fucked up. She kept putting her foot on the uh, fire pit yeah. and she melted her fucking shoes twice <laughs> two nights in a row she melted her shoes and the yeah, second okay. night amber told her oh yeah we were smelling like burning rubber last night we couldn't <laughs> out what was going on well yeah there was a we had a few uh, uh fires that were throwing <laughs> sparks and burning i it's like my jacket's all uh it's got the feathers in it and shit there's a nice burn hole in that <clears throat> It was a oh, fucking cold one yeah. too. That's why we were hugging the fire more. It was a lot, uh, yeah. a lot ha harder to stay warm this year. I think we'll do it a little earlier in the year from now on. That would have been the plan, but uh, it was Delaney's wedding that we wanted to uh, get some separation from. Delaney so, ruins everything. <laughs> like once again. <laughs> yeah, he didn't really talk about abortion back then, so I didn't know enough about <laughs> to make an informed decision. <clears throat> But uh, oh, I was I started to say this or ask uh, Chad, are you going to Vegas on New Year's? Uh, you know, I, last time we talked about it, I said I was not going to go, and then uh, while you guys were in uh, the desert, I went over and watched football with Stanhope, and uh, Stanhope and Bingo asked me that question, and I told them the same thing I told you I was not going to go, and Bingo said. Uh, you mind if I ask why? And I said the uh, same thing I told you. I said, uh, we're going to have to do that uh, timeshare thing. And I says, and I'm not fucking up to it. And Stanhope said, is that the only thing holding you up? He said, if you had a room, would you go? And I said, uh, yeah. And he goes, hold, let me talk to Hennigan and I'll uh, uh, get back with you. And he did. And it turns out he has uh, had a room. And he said, uh, yeah, you're going to go. If you want to go, you got a room. So uh, I am going to go. All right. Because Doug, Doug doesn't have an opener right now, and they give us a room for uh, they give us three rooms. Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. son of a well, bitch? I don't, I'm I'm considering going. I'm not saying I'm going to squat. It would have been funnier if Stanhope would have said at the end, like, "Oh, let me let me check with Hennigan," and then gotten back to you and been like, "Ah, never mind, bro." Yeah, well, I, I wasn't yeah. going to go either way, so it yeah. didn't matter. But. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah actually, I am gonna go. Gonna, we like to keep that room totally empty. It's just like an empty room. We keep it just it's on a room. He does hair and makeup in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, a, bro. Could be it uses Bingo's escape room. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm I'm considering going because I got I could I, I I can bounce in and out out of there. I, oh, actually, the reason also is Annie. I don't know if she'll. I mean, she asked if I wanted to do some time on her show on New Year's Eve. She's doing uh, to, uh, four shows at Wise Guys. Wise Guys, so nice. Vegas I, that same weekend. If I Annie's in Vegas the same weekend at Wise Guys. Yeah, yeah. she's doing uh, I think a Friday night and a Saturday. Oh my Monday. god! Yeah, you should go definitely. What a party! Wait, Annie, you don't, you don't you you have enough for a set right now? Um, have I ever? Yeah, I was, I was gonna be like, what's Fair different? Right. I mean, you know, not really the answer I thought I was gonna get, but uh, that, that yeah, I assume I'm not gonna be required to like be the feature or nothing, so I can I can figure out. In. Yeah, just drop in and give it to them. My post cancer uh, sad. I mean, you know, cancer didn't eat eat up my ability to do do some time. 
So well, that's, I mean, it's an unofficial announcement, albeit uh, out there for the wise guys. Uh, nice. Wise guys doing a four minute set. And, uh, <laughs> Maybe, but you will be there. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Well, let's just let's start selling tickets for Annie. So, she doesn't even need us to sell tickets. Here's the thing it's going to be, she is so popular right now because of the podcast she's on. And people love her so much that listen to that podcast. They're, they're going to, it's going to be filled with those people. And in, unless she's given a good, I mean, I guess you did her podcast. That'll help. But I don't know that they would understand what was going on with you necessarily, you know, like just in in a in a universal sort of sense, not in. Gotta explain it to them, and if they don't understand, then I'll just act like you know I'm there for you know. I'm not discouraging it. I'm just saying I can see how like you know it's, she's got a she's got an audience now. They Whoa. everyone at the club. Oh, yeah. Well, everyone at the club will be there to see Annie on purpose. Not right, to, but they always they, there's they, always they other people on. on the bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'd just be one of them. Right. Absolutely correct. And they could go, well, that yeah, one guy was a dick. To what saying. Listen to what he's saying. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. I just he'll be there that, like yeah. Neil Hamburger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, come they'll out in be, a sport coat. They'll just be puzzled about who come the fuck with was it. there. Come out in a sport coat with three vodka tonics in your arm and then just and another one in your hand and just spill it all over yourself when you talk. You got, it, you got hamburgers cough down. <laughs> Have you been working on the act? Wow, it's uncanny. I got a wig. Jackets. I can make that happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how about a character named i've been <laughs> no never mind i shouldn't say this i should just keep this to myself cut that never mind wow now i want to hear <laughs> oh, shit uh, i'll say it later all right go on to join our patreon if you want to hear what i was about to say I'll put that on patreon five dollars a month that's all you got it's nothing five dollars okay, help help get me out to vegas yeah this podcast that's right, that's right. and, and don't we uh, so the, we didn't pay the donkey night uh, uh, as much as it we've never been there when the donkeys have been in the camp area so oh, i've never of- seen a donkey in that area well we had last year there were there was a single donkey that went through the camp at one point in the afternoon when there was some people were sleeping not a lot of people were hip to it and it went just kind of walked through sauntered through and this this was, was a uh, like you a, had a different experience we heard uh, we you could tell it was like you could braying i can't do it you could hear that but this was like and then and then it just became like terror screams but you could still <laughs> tell it was donkeys but it was like ah foot you know it was a full-on we rent we so I guess we're a smart as a group. Most of us went running towards what? the dark, uh, uh, screaming in the dark. <laughs> I, I took, I had a plate of mushrooms uh, and s'mores, which were good, actually very perfect together. Finally figured that out. Uh, but uh, it was, I, I ran up there. I got up to the area where the donkeys, they were like, it was like, you know, at the end of Greece where they're, they're, they're dancing and then the dudes <laughs> over here and the girls over here and they just run together and dance down the thing. That's what the donkeys were doing. Only they weren't dancing. They were ramming heads and like fucking yelling at each other. And then it was like, I saw like three or four oh, pairs yeah. ram into each other this way. It was like war and donkeys, I think. Uh, how is that then damn. like the end of greece like why well, did you- i don't know what they call that, that. Gang fight in greece, was that maybe greece <laughs> like when you're dancing and then you're dancing alone and someone's dancing alone over here and then you dance <laughs> together when you get together that's what they were doing only the donkeys were ramming their fucking heads oh, into you. each other yeah gotcha. it's like uh it was something and then i realized ah shit i don't know where i put that plate of mushrooms down and while there were still donkeys all around screaming at each other i went back like you know like a like in a war movie where you know you get disoriented and walk with you know without any concern of your safety that's what was going on i was in the mist donkey in the midst of donkeys 
uh, and it was uh and then they came back around and were over by our camp area too yelling same shit whatever was going on in the donkey realm world it was not a, it was it was a fucking dangerous it night to down. be a donkey donkey shit went down yeah donkey <laughs> shit went down it did and uh and uh donkey shit happens yeah i don't know that they worked it out you know <laughs> but i also know down. while i'm on hallucinogenics out in the dark surrounded by angry donkeys uh i'm of no help i can't i can't referee this shit i wasn't you know uh does one of you know how to kick a football over a field goal because i got an idea right i'll be over here for a couple more days Is that you <laughs> yeah Nobody, there's still nothing written in the books. I checked <laughs> the NFL. Actually, fuck that. I want a donkey on the special teams. <laughs> Just get all pissed off and run down there and hit somebody. I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why did they waste Gus on special teams? If there's nothing in the rule book about that, I get, okay, well, this now we got an ape on our team. Yeah, defensive <laughs> <laughs> my gorilla just ripped your donkey's head off 15 yards roughing <laughs> we'll take it we got more donkeys yeah but there's gotta no, be a joke no. about a horse collar tackle in there somewhere yeah there's a uh yeah there's a two two herds of donkeys out there well there's not a lot of water i mean i know obviously the roads got washed out because they had so much rain this summer and all of that but you know, there's more uh, donkeys. Yeah, that water left. Water, yeah. <laughs> We're probably so, like, uh, our party is probably one of the water sources they consider. It's like 3% of their yearly water is our <laughs> water bottles that we start and sit around. <laughs> uh, you know, most of the, I cleaned up one morning and it's about 70% water waste, but uh, most of the booze is down good. Yes, Andy, thank yeah. you very much for doing that. I, I did, I did see that. That was the night I just stayed up all, oh, I didn't stay up all night. I stayed up the next day too. <laughs> But uh, I decided I had enough fucking drugs swimming around in my head that uh, I'd probably just, you know, have better energy to just clean up and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, you were great. You're, that's great usually what uh, what Jenny did. Jenny was always our, our morning cleanup crew. Mm -hmm. So I think she slept the night before some. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was still graveyard <laughs> chef that just figured, fuck it. But I didn't, I didn't figure I'd, uh, you know, <clears throat> back in them dark days last year you know i'd be able to uh, be up doing drugs from right sunrise to sunset and, and back close to the next sunset uh and i you know i wasn't i would didn't drink much and i would did drug but i wasn't like you know i wasn't like fucking going back and doing drugs by myself or anything I, you know kept a steady flow of weed going little, little this little that the mushrooms you know good for you it's juggling good for you but I really got some good, uh, good mushroom uh, fucking fun there for sure. I saw the video that Marty put out of uh, the bubble machine in full effect, and it just oh, looked yeah. incredible. And you know, just the vibe out there, and the, yeah, the communion um, and the fellowship and the connection. There's Marty with his guitar. Yeah, and oh, I got a fucking sit, dude. That guy is man. What a I got to sit and hear Marty play. You know, from his songbook uh for for about an hour or more uh and then i got the right i told marty uh well it seemed like a, i was not you know like sandro's car was packed pretty tight he brought all that bubble machine lights and all the, the or he had multiple orbs uh so uh, i told marty it's like uh when they said vacation aunt edna it's like uh congratulations you're driving me to phoenix <laughs> uh, so i go hey man did you hear you won the the privilege to drive me to Burbank. So we, but it was a great try. It was a great ride for me. I won't say that he had a great time, but uh, yeah, we listened. He to is a lot. really an amazing guy. Yeah, he was really sweet and kind funny. and gentle and wise person. Mm -hmm. Really talented. Like his, yeah. he's, he's great, man. The more you're around him, the more you like him. And the yep. people, not, not a lot of people are like that. Uh, the more the more I get to know Marty, the more I wonder why the fuck he likes us. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that is well said, my friend. What are you getting out of this deal, dude? Yeah. You're chilling yeah. the fuck yeah. out, man. It's great. Yeah, so I got yeah, I got nice. the, he's got some great Todd Snyder cuts that I had not heard. And yeah, I got us all the way to Burbank. Nice. 
Wait, no, that's Sandro got you to Burbank. No, I didn't go with Sandro. Oh, oh, Marty. Then, oh, fuck. Yeah, Marty. it was kind of like last car there, you know, the other yeah. LA shuttles yeah. drove off. <laughs> you know, Andy just fucking goes in and hopes somebody will fucking wing yeah. him out. Well, my plan B was to go. I wanted to go to I work mean, at Panamit for the rest I, of your life. <laughs> plan B was to fucking hope and Reed had an extra yeah. room. The new Reed. Reed, yeah. how big is that trailer, Reed? You got any? Yeah. I wouldn't cock block Reed. I would not cock block Reed on our lovely De- De- Deirdre. Deirdre. Uh, uh, they seem to be. Uh, I think that I think Panamint would be a good place for you to work, Andy. I think you could be the one stumbling into the campfire parties all drunk. That'd be fun. I don't Andy drink no more. Up. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess high. I'm sober. Yeah. How about high? I'm California sober. <laughs> Out here <laughs> nice in Oregon. Well, good for you. Uh huh. I realize you know I can be sober. Uh, did, did you uh, refrain couple... pretty much, Andy, the whole time? I didn't drink uh, much. I had a couple drinks a day, alcohol wise. Oh, actually, you not do. well. That's not true. Counting the baby shots, but it, you don't count baby shots. So no, probably no, yeah. You know, yeah. The problem is you're doing baby shots out of red solo cups, and it's hard to make baby shots in red solo cups. It ends up being mm-hmm. full shots. Right. Been down this road before. That, there were a couple of things that showed up out at the the party this year that I, I've put on the. Uh, add this in an email of do not bring next time. <laughs> what were their is, names? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was those, <laughs> those little plastic fun shot glasses. Not the one that looked like solo cups. Oh, look, yeah, they're yeah. Clear, but they're different colors. Well, real flimsy. Yeah, they're real cheap. So you get, so everyone buys those and they drink one. If they drop it on the ground, no one picks it up. Someone uh, steps on it and it shatters. And now there's uh, stick everywhere. Like uh, last year, for, I'm just throwing them away if I see them next year. Yeah, that's <laughs> not a good thing. That and uh, what did fuck? Oh, James Frost win. Bring out a fucking espresso machine like you would have at a fucking cafe. Uh, right. And uh, <laughs> and, and uh, so he and, made the uh, list it, like a big, a big <laughs> tabletop grinder. Like this big like hopper uh-huh. on the top and everything, and I go out there. And, I mean, you know, you know how 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 uh, that area where we all set up is uh, pretty uh, prime real estate because it's booze and chips and 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 things like that. We that we use Starbucks now, station set up on the had an espresso station set up for two fucking days, and I haven't heard that fucking thing turn on once. It, it's oh like, what God. the? F- are, are we waiting to unveil this? What the fuck? I'm making coffee. That's true. It was well. I'm it didn't work. Out of a little fucking thing, like one at a time. As I'm staring at this fucking seven thousand dollar espresso machine, it's like what the fuck gives. And then the next day, I wake up here and like, yeah, it won't go. Yeah, won't get steam. So you brought a broken fucking espresso machine. <laughs> yeah, it never did uh, have a payoff. <laughs> It never got pressure. It never had all. It never uh, had anything that it needed to make coffee. And so I just made coffee all weekend out of a fucking a pot, uh, leftover waters that everyone left out, and uh, my little uh, filters. That's why uh-huh. in the old west they didn't have a big coffee machine. They just had a, a guy who made hot water. Yeah, mixed coffee. <laughs> yeah, I think I his name was Cookie, and he Cookie he Chuck Wagon. Oh. Yeah, or Gabby. Gabby was a good one. Yep. A classic, man. Uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, but I mean, at the whole time, it's taking up half of a table. Yes. Like, mm-hmm. That we like, we have all this stuff on. It's like, man, too bad they didn't. Come yeah. In there. Well, hey, steal I've... an espresso machine. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, that's where the cheese balls go. Don't you know that we need a gigantic uh, 800 pound container of cheese balls? Come it on. Seemed it oh, seemed like the food was, I don't know, you were there last, Shaley, but it seemed like we had it pared down so there wasn't as uh, a, much, uh, much stuff at the end. Well, right? I mean, I had a sensible... Leaves, everyone leaves old Shaley there to clean yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, see, that's an, I would have helped you clean up, Shaley. So it, there's what we left. Oh, my I God. That. That's a nice haul for those. That's a good haul yeah. right there. Look at that. Peter, Look at all that Peter Tito's Amanda, vodka. Peter mm-hmm. and Amanda cleaned up uh, the cabins, and they were very appreciative. In fact, we went to the... Uh, to the gas station to check out, had left everything in the in the uh, site, and uh, Tarek was going back with us, uh, so it was Tracy and I and Tarek in the van, 
And we kind of kind of fucked around a little bit, like talking to Ben, the owner, and, and just kind of taking our time. And then just as we're starting to pull out, so we were there about 20 minutes. We should have been down the road, 20 minutes. Uh, and as we're starting to pull out, Peter and Amanda go rolling up in that in that van that they use for house house cleaning, you know? Uh-huh. So it's, you can tell they're coming to us. So I'm like, oh, fuck. And as Peter rolls up, he fucking holds Tarek's laptop that he had oh left my God. in the room. I go, if we would have left when we were going to leave, yeah, gone. he would be already, there'd be no way. And Tarek's like, what the fuck? So it's kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, so they, they were great. And everyone, everyone was, even, even the incident with the dude. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, he was. He, he was, was kind of entertaining. It, it needed to end about when it took, ended. Because, yeah. uh, you know. Well, he was remorseful the next day, my understanding. And that's yeah, all. he, he was, came and apologized. Yeah. Uh, somebody I mean, that's, that's, see, that's the parts where I'm glad I didn't go because I definitely would have fucking reacted and then I would have been the fucking asshole and then I would have <laughs> still be there the whole fucking time. <laughs> We'd have had to hold you back. Well, remember your ankle, Chad. Fuck. Your ankle, man. Come on. I know, and then I would have hurt myself. Think it with your right foot. I honestly right thought he would fall down before he became a real problem. Uh, yeah, well, he fell he down was, a couple times. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. someone catching him before he fell backwards into the fire. <laughs> that he would have sat on it like sitting on a trash can. <clears throat> he would have gone right into it. Yeah. yeah, that probably wouldn't be as funny as it is in the cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but that would have been the perfect line if he falls into the fire. Mm-hmm, but he was—he was in he my was face like, a little bit. Like, now that's funny. That guy was in my face a little bit. And like, you know, uh, uh, I sat at the bar the next day. I didn't alter my appearance any. And he didn't, he looked right at me and he had no recollection oh, yeah, of yeah. me at all. So yeah, I didn't so, take his, like I, I said, was. Like I said, there were, there were employees at the campfire that were just chilling that were like, Ugh, sorry. <laughs> so he, they, they, the people who needed to know about they it policed him a little bit at the end, at least. He was just he just had a little too much. So. Well, Reed Anybody said, will do that to you, man. You're way the fuck out there, you know. Reed said, uh, uh, I said hey to him the next morning. He goes, Sorry about that. He goes, I had to kick his ass. <laughs> he goes, hey, He kicked his ass. I, I, he didn't look like he'd had his ass kicked, but maybe they, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd like to think he maybe uh, gave him a I, kick in the ass. I, I, I definitely would like to think that I would have enough sense of humor to just grab a guy like that and just drag him kicking and screaming <laughs> into the desert, and, yeah. uh, you know, and not really hurt him or do anything, but just That's for the, the funniness of it. I uh, pictured it know. differently, Chad. I pictured you walking up to him and grabbing him and then throwing him over the roof of the cabin like uh, <laughs> like the six million dollar man, you know, da, 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 da. into the yeah, bubbles. Like, there you go. Or just launch him up and he goes up into the bubble, <laughs> and, uh, disappears into bubbles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, said, the, you said Marty had a, a photo or a video of the bubbles? Yeah, he sent. So uh, I got some good footage, a little bit of footage of the music, but it's just, I don't know what, how to. Uh, yeah, I got it. Um, I got a, I got some things I collected that were definitely left behind in haste. Um, so I got to contact everyone. I, I think we'll set up something to where we can post some photos. I'll put those up on uh, Patreon. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, Shaylee found my slideshow of pictures. Uh-huh. That would be fun. And, uh, I'm, and then the uh, ones on Amber's camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then that, well, those actually went up to the cloud if she went up to the to the main room. yeah that's wow funny. but what a place panamint uh resort panamint springs resort is guys if you uh, we, we'd love to have you guys join us when we're out there sometime. oh man but if you just can just get out there if you're ever around in california go out there and check that fucking place what out. i what i came up absolutely with absolutely incredible i'm used to seeing the oh, pictures man. with the sunsets and all of that shit it's it, incredible to be that far out away from everything and then at night it just you know you can see every star and or you can see satellites and you can see every you know the whole thing is just right there for you it's really Me and those little uh, cabins ongoing. are comfortable yeah, yeah. On, on our road road set me and uh, mitchell both saw uh the, i didn't get a you know you could tell it was a, a meteor or something going down so mm-hmm. she actually i can confirm she actually finally saw a yeah, shooting she, star She's notorious for not looking when the shooting star happens. Always look in the wrong direction. And people she's are like, oh, talking. And she's usually when she's talking that the shooting star happens. But I think I kind of felt like uh, the we did the one road. We only did the one road march. 
I mean, yeah. uh, and that was, we were like, we can't not do it just because Erickson's not, we got, it's Erickson's tradition, but he's, we got to carry <laughs> I don't on. Know if it was Erickson's tradition. I like doing it. But. Yeah. But it just seemed like an Eric, you know, it's like, well, Erickson's not here. We don't, you know, no, we ended up enjoying it with, without you, sir. Sorry oh. to say. And that's oh, the thing, good. you know, yeah, one of us may good. not be able to be there. I mean, I'm still, I was still very grateful to be there and, and, to. Uh, to have yeah. those laughs and that, the, you know, cry it up a little bit and, uh, uh, you know, fall down on a rock. Not that part so much, uh, <laughs> but it was all shit that I haven't done for so long. <clears throat> you know, I mean, last year we did it. And uh, of course, but uh, it just seemed like this year was like. It had a little more weight to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it definitely yeah. did. I was definitely in the moment thinking, wow, I'm lucky. I'm, you know, I'm lucky to be here uh not just getting there uh travel wise but just to be upright and to be able to see that shit again oh, so yeah i was doing a little bit of that good for you man i'm happy i'm happy that it happened i wish and I holding I, that, now that i'm you yeah. know and look yeah. at how everyone blossomed into new areas of <laughs> that, that part that part i really wish i would have been there for andy because i know that you would have been generous to me and i you know well, that man. that was the whole God, part man. of it was <laughs> that some of it was like they had like well, like, well this one will be for chad and this one will be you know any it? it was like a rugby party Thank anybody you. that followed me down there was welcome <laughs> uh our little hippie do little white dope so if things start spinning out yeah but you would have you would have sought me out and yeah, I know yeah. That. You, oh, you yeah. Know. When Randolph know, got there, I know that. Like, uh, but I, I asked, I asked, <laughs> I asked our, uh, our our uh, youth movement. I said, "Have you ever heard <laughs> white dope shit?" And he goes, "Yeah." So I go, "Okay, then." <laughs> I don't want to be the first one to go here. Try this shit. Yeah, Randolph. <laughs> Randolph left Vegas because they there was a uh, road from Vegas going east on the 190, and then about uh, 40 or 50 miles from. Panamint Valley, when you come down the valley, you know, when you come down and you get uh -huh. you know, a seven mile stretch, we can see it. Uh -huh. Well, up in the mountains, that's where it all washed out. So before that, there was this little road called Wild Rose Road. And it was basically, it, it was fucking insane. Uh, I, like to Not do really it a road. during the day <laughs> was crazy. Randolph's calling at nine o'clock at night going, I'm leaving Vegas now. And we're like, don't go, not now. <laughs> he's a bit of a distracted driver. So he ends up getting there at like one in the morning. He got down and there's a part where you have to basically do a, the button hook, like, and then go down into what feels like a gully on some farmer's land. Uh -huh. And it was where they basically just scraped the, the old road clear because uh -huh. nobody used it so long. And he went down into that and he turned around and went back up to where he could get a signal and then called boobs and said, I don't think this is right. And, and then that's, he goes, no, Shaley says, if it feels like it's wrong, it's the right it's way. Right. <laughs> but you already in it. You in your car. So he got there at like one in the morning. We were on the road. Yeah. We, we were laying on the road and here comes a car. We're like car and it's him. Yeah. We'll go just park it that's here. Great. <laughs> Wow. And I can't Excellent. fucking believe he did it. And then when we were going back on Sunday, we stayed an extra night actually and uh, hung out. It was just uh, five of us, Hoot, uh, Tarek, Tracy and I, and uh, Randolph. And uh, so that, that morning when we were leaving, we were just going to go down through Ridgecrest again because it, it just didn't seem like worth it to even during the day to go through that, uh, to go through that bullshit. And right then, Someone goes, oh, the road's open. You can go to Vegas on 190. And we're like, what the fuck? They're, yeah, like 20 miles with a, uh, with a pace car, you know, the, the signal car. Wow. You just follow that car through and you'll, you'll be fine. But it's only for 20 miles. So it's like we ended up shaving off like an hour and a half, two hours and getting on the 190 all the way. But that right. fucking road was fucked. It is so fucked yeah. In three locations that are just they have to take it all the way down to like the, the soil and then Crazy. rebuild it and, and they're not fixing the way it washes out they're just fixing it to yeah, have a hoping it doesn't yeah. happen again yeah, yeah. we we I, you know, I don't know the name of the town that we went through coming from la uh i was with annie and todd and mitchell and it, it was uh there's like a couple of shitty mini marts and uh we went in one and it had uh just 
plain shirts on the wall, like just a mismatch of like a big white like t shirt and, and a white. red tank top. It was just like a, it's just to me, it's just like fucking witness relocation or some shit went down in the desert and just need a tank top. Didn't have no fucking, you know, store or town on it, nothing, just plain shirts. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. But yeah, that was uh, like if you were like if you were escaping a prison, that mm-hmm. would be an awesome place to run into. Yeah, 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 it feels like it's like the witness relocation yeah. third strike. I was like, okay, man, you, you can't cut it here. You're going to go out. This is it. You know, this, this is the last stop. <clears throat> but yeah, so it's, uh, it was cool that way to see other other parts of the desert that I, I would never go through because I'd always go either to Vegas or back yeah. to Oregon. Yeah, you don't come up through from that. <laughs> man, you don't. Yeah, the road's drive. broken up to just hearing the GPS go, you know turn right and 400 feet and then left and right and left. like it uh-huh. used to be just you turn one way and you turn another and you're there <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> wow all right what a fucking what a party we'll do it again next year i think or a little earlier in the year so it's not quite so cold yeah maybe, we got i was maybe, thinking maybe this you is can like take vacation next year and i'll will, fucking uh yeah. try to watch my step yeah exactly uh, right maybe I we'll mean, get some more people we, out we, there I, to... we were conspired against chad the forces <laughs> forces of nature conspired against oh, us. It's that's what happened, and we you know my new nickname. Uh, and, it's and just I'm not went down. I'm not going to try to make it get you know catch on or sell T-shirts, but I was just like, uh, Shaley shows up. That's the nickname. <laughs> Shaley, he shows up. Where's Chad and Brett? Well, that Shaley's here. <laughs> Uh, well, we you didn't see there, Muddy Shoes there. Baker, uh, but everybody who showed up was disappointed that both of you guys weren't there, uh, but we got over it and did mushrooms and yeah, had a I'm good sure time. And you, you were there in spirit the whole, you know, you, you, you know, the wheels were in motion because Brett wouldn't uh, said, you know, hell or high water or whatever. He said, let's just, amp-, and they said this, let's, we're going to amp it up each year. And then he, he you know, <laughs> pulled the shoe. <laughs> but, uh, and he's giving it like an acceptance speech, but he didn't know he was going to win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys had fun. Let's wrap this up. We're getting okay. to that time. Brett's got to go barbecue some shit. You, I got to grill out, man. got to go I, figure out how to, how to uh, work a, a propane tank. I got to hook this propane tank. <laughs> Right, man. I hope it even works. I haven't even yeah. tested it. it. Might not even oh, work. No. So, it's gonna figure out why these tested. motherfuckers gave it away. <laughs> that's dangerous, man. That's dangerous. Oh shit. Yeah. So that's me. We got uh uh All right, well, well, I guess just... nobody watched anything if you guys are in the desert. I started watching uh, Chernobyl again. If you guys have never seen Chernobyl on HBO, watch it. It's fucking uh, brilliant. Here's I'll, I'll do a quick one. A good uh it's a good version of the story mostly accurate like one of the characters is a composite of a whole bunch of characters you know made into one character you know but that kind of shit jared harris is amazing in it i've I've watched it over and over i've read the book midnight at chernobyl i don't know why i'm so fucking fascinated with the story but i can't get past it it's i got i got a quick one that me and annie and todd enjoy talking about a lot and it's against the grain for me because i hate clowns pretty much terrifier one and two they're they're fucking violent <laughs> clown terrifier Terror- i watched fire. one the terrifier, terrifier and then terrifier two terrifier. it's they're kind of I mean, a clown yeah it's a murderous clown for no reason he has no origin story but i just feel like he's he's the next uh character like uh that people will really remember in that style of movie and it's funny enough uh, all right anyway shaley i'm surprised you haven't seen this the first one was big enough cult wise i'll i'll look into it but uh i i've been during halloween i was getting into well anything that was available but then i got into when i got home for a couple days i was trying to not do anything but sit and relax and watch some some horror and i was getting into the classic uh universal monsters so i was watching all those like that that horror of dracula and the the the, the mummy and shit like that andy where did you see terrifier 2 i had to download uh, like this a weird science thing I, I i think i found it on google but it's, I wonder why his computer doesn't no, work it's 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 this weird it's <laughs> no man it's this app i watch it on tv but i had to it said you know get it for seven days free and it was yeah. and there was nothing else to watch on there and it was easy to cancel so you could cancel right away so i just yeah. watched it and then got rid of that i forget the right. channel name it had to do with horror 
QB. Right. Yeah. All right. Oh, chiller. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those cool. ones. The the first one is good. I will, and I do want to watch the second one, but I didn't know where to watch it. I only knew it was in like select theaters. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, and I'll, they I'll they hype it like it's supposed to make you physically sick, but that's not true. No, I and knew, he was I, I physically did... sick, but he was physically sick for a totally different reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did read those same things, but I knew that was just marketing. But yeah, it, it's yeah, uh, yeah. I did like the art, the clown. I liked the first one, uh, that, so mm-hmm. uh, I'm with you on that. Andy. He's kind of uh, funny. I, yeah, I will. I will watch the second one uh, as soon as I find it. Terrifying. Uh, Excellent. And, oh, and and Thank Annie you. knows or sent a, a thing saying she liked it or whatever to this guy he goes he wants to have her in the third one so that would be cool oh to God. see yeah, Annie definitely. get her head smashed in by a clown <laughs> <laughs> It'd be terrifying all right you guys got anything chad you got home yeah i'm uh uh i was watching uh, uh indonesian uh uh <laughs> horror half worlds <laughs> on uh what? hbo What's it called? Half Worlds. All right. And it's a series from 2015. And uh, it's kind of, a, I don't know, maybe like an Indonesian ghosts, I guess it is. But it's maybe overdubbed? Some, uh, no, it's mostly English. There's uh, once in a while they'll speak uh, <coughs> whatever language. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and they'll do a little bit of a uh, dub. They'll throw it in there, but most of it is English, and uh, the it's really pretty cool. And it's a unique storyline because it's all these uh, ghosts and stuff from uh, whatever culture you know, Indonesian culture. So it's pretty cool. And wow, it's it, people kind of uh, I uh, glossed over it because they said the acting was bad, and I guess maybe some parts are, but. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. I'm still, That's I'm still wild. watching it. There's two seasons of it. Um, the cool thing is, it's hard to watch with Jenny because uh, uh, we, we both like it. But it's for me. I, I kind of want to comment every other minute about how hot every chick is. <laughs> oh, it's one of those horror flicks. Uh, I'm like, God, she's fucking hot. Oh, look at how hot she is. Oh, she's hot. But is I found a way to counteract it. It's because I can also comment how hot every dude is. Yeah. So it makes it less creepy. So I'm like, whoa, look at that. Look at how hot that dude is. So every Everybody single person show. is hot in uh, yeah. half worlds. Nice. Uh, so it's, so it's very... kind of like watching porn for you guys. You guys get all. No, no, up. no. I mean, it's a, well, I guess there are some parts that are a little bit uh, risque <laughs> for. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think it's more like a a, a horror uh, Beverly Hills 90210. It, it's kind of like a, I it's maybe teenager uh, right like a Twilight <laughs> or uh, <laughs> Asian I Twilight think you maybe. Stop hey, the, talking. The Mitchells like uh, do the murder porn. Everybody's got their kink, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is I don't know. It's kind of cool. Really? It's it's something that oh, I, no. I I try to share things that I find that I would not have liked. Yeah, you, you find know, stuff I would that's like. Not on my that, radar. Uh, maybe sure. my like. You always find the craziest shit, Chad. There's no question about that. Yeah. I I enjoy hearing these <laughs> recommendations. So, all right, Shaley, you don't have anything. Do you have something? I You've do not. Watching a lot of- all right, let's I, get I out of here. I just remember what I was watching, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 into it now. I'm home for a while. So everybody's home. Everybody right. survived it again. So uh, you know that's good, and uh, we're back, baby. So uh, thanks for being out there, and thanks for supporting us. You can support us by uh, subscribing to the podcast on YouTube and liking it, and leaving a comment, and talking to us, uh, recommending it to a friend. Uh, that's always nice. You can also support us by joining our Patreon at uh, uh, www.patreon slash issues with Andy. And it's just $5 a month. And uh, you get all kinds of extra special stuff. Like if you're watching this episode on YouTube and you're wondering what's on Patreon, you can go on Patreon and see uh, like the first 30 minutes of this episode when we were trying to get Andy uh, on screen. And, it's a throwback uh, yeah. episode. Oh, is that what Very I'm doing? Salute. I'm editing that part out and then putting it on Patreon. Yeah, we'll put that on Patreon. 
Right on. I mean, if you guys don't think that's worth five dollars a month, what do you want? Yeah. That's entertainment. This is special behind the scenes footage. So uh, it's in again, five dollars a month is nothing. I mean, if you're going to pay eight dollars a month for your Twitter verification, what's five dollars a month? <laughs> Be a, That's a great a, idea. A podcast. For just five dollars, you can get the part the rest of us thought was going to get thrown away. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Doesn't that feel special? That's look. It's called the director's cut, Chad. Don't call it call it that shit. <laughs> call it edited out. Fucking oh the yeah. Floor, well, a lot of that Patreon money. Garbage. A lot of that Patreon money went to uh, to our entertainment budget. You guys weren't there to do your share of it. So this year, you know. Yeah, well, that's a lot of it, it went right we there. Appreciate, we do appreciate the Patreon people because all the money goes back into the podcast by way of us spending it on a good time. Mm-hmm. So, uh, thank you very I, much, and we love you yeah. guys for it. So, uh, we do this every week. If you're new to us, uh, thanks for being out there. If you've been with us for a long time, thanks for remaining with us. We love you guys, and uh, we'll be right back here next week doing it again. We'll see you then. Later.